Okay, so I haven't been doing these in order. And a lot of people in the comment section on the last reaction that I did was NF Gone, uh, which was unbelievable, have been telling me that, oh no, you need to go in order because there's like a, a, a sort of like a line that goes through that's like there's a continuity to the story throughout the album. Didn't know that. So I'm just going all the way back and we're doing it in order except for the one that I've already done. So we've done Hope. We've done Mato. The next one on the list is Corday Careful. And then the one after that, I think, is Mama. I'm not entirely sure. But we'll, we'll go in order this time. So, without further ado, NF Corday Careful. Let's see what we've got. Let's go. Stunning on me, you get exposed. I don't wanna pick that a bite bowl. Doesn't go plat, it'll go go. Keep it up front, I don't tiptoe. I'll be at the house trying to lay low. Duck in and dodge in a promo. Sit on my roof like J. Cole. Yeah, sit on my roof like J. Cole. Thinking about how I'm so thankful. Some part songs, I don't make those. Look at that car I paid for. Look at my life, I'm grateful. Hating on me, that's hateful. You know I hear what I aim for. Talking about risks, I take those. Then get every be careful. What I like straight off the bat, okay, so this is obviously, this is a more upbeat track. What I like about um, NF more specifically, that you don't get a lot in today's artists, you don't get a lot in today's world, is the fact that he's actually grateful for what he has. You know, he doesn't focus on the things he doesn't have, he focuses on the things that he does have. Um, and that's, that's a, it's a great attribute to have, it's a really great trait to have as a person. Um, because all of a sudden you bring everything that was always on the outside of your peripheries straight into focus. Because you're grateful for what you have, you know. And you know, the fact that he takes risks, the fact that he's giving a shout out to J. Cole. It's, he's really just a tip top all round brilliant artist. And I love the fact that what makes him so great is the fact that his awareness is literally through the roof so yeah anyway carry on let's listen to corday Talking about risk, I take though. Millionaire still ride with the Draco. Court side of the game, triple trying, got my name on it. That's how a typical day goes. I just left Nigeria, Legos. I just met Kanye, Yezos. I was talking to God, but was real or was not. All he said was remain faithful. Okay, I get it, I got it, I'm with it, I'm about it. My crib is exotic, I'm blessed. Hey, we live in chaotic, what's high off narcotics, but that's why my life was a mess. Hey, we come from the bottom, we still at the bottom. I get how to really distress. Hey, I don't think y'all get the message. This world is built off misconceptions. Talking about Talk about envy, talk about money, do we First, very important what he said. He actually said two very important things there. Actually, his verse is absolutely incredible. But right in the beginning where he said, millionaires still driving with, or still riding with Dracos, like Dracos are kind of gun, right? It's like, you've made it. Like, what's the beef still? Like, what's the problem still? If it's not for an image that you're pushing, right? You're a millionaire, you've made it. There's no, you, you, you're not living in, in, um, a situation where you need to defend yourself. You're not you're not living in the ghettos anymore. You're not like if not just to keep this like um, this culture of 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 uh, um, killing and hating and gangsterism and thuggery. What do you need it for? You're a millionaire now. You're out of this life. You should be out of this life. You should be actually pushing a better message, right? But you're still carrying around a Draco. Because you won't let that go, you won't let the thuggery go. That's what you want to push through your music because it sells. You know what I mean? Which is incredible. And then he said something else that I completely forgot now, but I'll, t I'll let's just go back. Um. We come from the bottom, we still at the bottom. I get how to really distress. Hey, I don't think y'all get the message. This world is built off misconceptions. Talking about greed, talking about. That's what he said over there. This world is built off misconceptions. And that there's nothing more true than that, right? Because there's a misconception about everything else. And that's actually, it's kind of what the narrative is at the moment. It's kind of what society and politicians and everybody wants you to believe, right? They want to push out all these misconceptions about different sides and different people so that they can paint a narrative so that they can sort of like mystify the air and muddy the water so they can drag you in to uh, a world that's very confusing you know Einstein once said if someone can't explain something simply then they don't know what they're talking about all right and it's amazing that today even in the experts the experts are trying to just convolute and go around the bend and they're trying to drag you into these 
if they can't explain it carefully, and they'll com they'll consistently keep telling you that it's complicated. No, no, this is, com this, this is a complex thing. It's a complicated thing. It's a complex thing. It's complex. Do you know why it's complex and complicated? Because they don't want you to understand it, right? It's easy to explain if you know what you're doing. But we're living in a world that nobody knows what they're doing. Incompetence is at an unbelievable high level, and we prefer to... Um, to push uh, uh, mediocrity than to actually push meritocracy and uh, that's what you get which this is why you get the misconceptions today this is why you get the person hating on their neighbor right because uh, some media agency said that their neighbor is a terrible person because their politics doesn't align with you they might be the greatest person they might be a helpful person they might give to charity but their politics doesn't align with yours which means that 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 that's a, that person's evil that's a misconception um, and it's very important to look out for those because they are being pushed so that they can gain more control uh, from the people by dividing people. So very important line he said there. Envy. Talk about money, then we talk about plenty. Talk about dollars, and we talk about pennies. Talk about drinking, then we talk about henny. What we talking about? Lost souls at a crossroads. Money coming in in large loads. I've been crossed, so my heart cold. That's all we know. Stunning on me, you get exposed. I don't want to pick, then I buy bold. Doesn't go plat, it'll go gold. Bar over there. I've been crossed till my. Jeez, what a bar, man. He said, I've been crossed till my heart's cold. Right, so when your heart goes cold, it's when you die, but also when your heart goes cold is when you just become numb to people just double-crossing you the iron time. But if you actually look at it from a biblical sense, I've been crossed, I've been crucified by so many people until my heart's cold, meaning he's been betrayed by so many people until his heart's gone cold. Bar, absolutely brilliant bar. I don't want to pick, then I buy bold. Doesn't go plat, it'll go gold. Keep it up front, now tiptoe. I'll be at the house trying to lay low. Ducking and dodging a promo. Sit on my roof like J. Cole. Yeah, sit on my roof like J. Cole. Thinking about how I'm so thankful. Some part songs, I'll make those. Look at that car I paid for. Look at my life, I'm grateful. Hating on me, that's hateful. You know I hear what I ain't for. Talking about risks, I take those. Then get air, be careful. Called him my dad and I told him I got you. You want to retire, then do it your gut. Called him my grandma and told her it's time to move out of that basement. Let's get you a crib. Called him my manager, told him get ready. It's about to get busy. This record is. Called up the guy and I asked him, you watching my back? He ain't saying nothing back, but I heard what he said. When you see how I'm living, the answer. I called up to God. I said, are you watching my back? But he didn't say anything back. So I said, cool, we good. All right? I don't expect him to say anything back because I have faith. I believe that he's watching my back. And that faith, that belief is what keeps me safe. It's my, it, the thing is that what people don't understand is that, you know, they, they take it down to like its uh, uh, um, most ludicrous uh, uh, sort of uh, idea where it's like, well, yeah, the man in the sky is watching your back. No, but what you don't understand is it's the belief in it. Let's take out the man in the sky thing. Let's take out the whole idea that there's uh, um, a God um, that watches over us all. Let's say that that doesn't exist. But the belief that something out there that provides hope, that provides a safety net for you, is not a bad thing to believe in, right? To believe that there's a set goals and set standards and through discipline and through morality and integrity, you can, uh, you can make your life better because you know you you kind of become what you worship you worship hedonism you become hedonistic if you worship idols you become idealistic if you worship um um a greater power you don't become a greater power but you at least achieve to be something greater than you are and that's what he's trying to say it's brilliant brilliant i love that he said that it's not the fact that there's actually a god watching over him right it's that the belief in himself is what keeps him safe okay and the belief that there is something that he's part of something greater is what keeps him safe and keeps him moving the god and i asked him you watching my back he ain't saying nothing back but i heard what he said when you see how i'm living the answer is obvious ain't it when you go from poverty stricken and stressing about buying the groceries to not even having to look at the total you know you've been blessed sharing the wealth ain't no point in me keeping this all to myself i ain't taking this money with me to my grave yeah i might as well bless all the people i love we talking about making a difference i'm making one talking about risks i've been taking i'm talking about dreams i've been chasing i'm talking about lives i've been changing i'm talking about family don't play with them that's a line you don't oh that choppy melody in the background with the actual it's almost 
goes like that and uh, and then literally he chop he chops it up where it goes love that it adds so much to it dreams i've been chasing i'm talking about lives i've been changing i'm talking about family don't play with them that's a line you don't cross no low blows can't respect those gotta keep the loved ones close that's all we know stunning on me you get exposed i don't want to pick then i buy bold doesn't go plat it'll go gold keep it up front now tiptoe i'll be at the house trying to lay low i like the fact that he said low blows i don't accept those and that's again a bar because it's like when someone does something to you right that's kind of untowards like that's a bit of a low blow that's that's below the belt but then also it's like he's also talking about blowing up you know i don't blow up at a at a at a, at a sort of like average level i don't blow up um how everybody else blows up uh, i blow up at the top i'm a high blow i don't expect i don't i don't take you know i don't take low blows right so if you're gonna if you're gonna give me a low blow best you be on my level right or else that low blow is sort of insignificant to me i like that go plat it'll go go keep it up front now tiptoe i'll be at the house trying to lay low ducking and dodging a promo sit on my roof like j cole yeah sit on my roof like j cole thinking about i'm so thankful some part songs i'll make those hey. look at that car i pay for look at my life i'm grateful hey no need that safer you know i hear what i ain't for talking about risks i take those then get yeah, be careful Sick, sick! What a hop little track that man. That that is absolutely epic. I don't even know who Corday is. I mean, shamefully, um, I don't. But uh, epic, epic, epic. What I really like about NF is that um, he kind of like cleans up rappers. Not to say that Corday needs to be cleaned up, right? Um, but every time somebody features in his song, there's a set standard that he, you know, that that he that you have to adhere to. Uh, and then no profanity nothing it's like almost like he cleans people up like if you feature on an nf track it means that you know you're going in there for a, a therapy session you're going in there to look at yourself and be like ah, maybe i can do this cleaner you know what i mean that's what i love about it it actually forces people um to adhere to a certain standard standards are important for people right if we remove those we descend into anarchy so absolutely anyway um, this is awesome. You let me know what you think down below and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.